Hey everyone, this is a quick fix to the problem that you might have faced regarding updating your Zish um, shell here. Okay, so some people will find on the internet that there is a parsing error. It's 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 just an unresolved conflict. Okay, so some people will find that the error is because of a parsing error that is happening because of this, right? Um, most probably you're using the agnostic theme, right? So the solution to this is really easy. Um, I actually used PowerShell for that, so I just opened PowerShell and I had to shut down my WSL2 or WSL using this command. Just I was trying to see if this is gonna work or not, and I ran it one more time. Okay, and you can clearly see that this is working. All right, but you might probably would have seen something like this. You wouldn't be able to see your name, your username, but instead you would see something like desktop and whatever your machine uh, serial number here is at, right? So you wouldn't see your username like this, and probably you wouldn't even see any current path that you're in. So whenever you say CD to this, or this, or this, or this, you wouldn't see anything. You would just see desktop and this number there, okay? This is all because of this parsing error at this theme, okay? So the solution to this is really easy. Um, if it tells you that there is a problem at line 91, so let's see what is happening there. All right, so let's just do this. What I did exactly was um, I, I used nano for that, right? And I opened this file. Okay, there was a mistake here. Okay, this is the folder. All right. Oops. Okay, so this is the folder. You can see all of the themes, the themes here, right? So you just go to sudo nano and open up this agnostor theme. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's take it from here. Okay, and go to line 91 as it says and you can see that this is what you would find initially you would find something like this you would find that there was some changes and it had some merge conflicts so you would see something like that right um so what i had to do is just comment out this part this is the stashed changes so this is the updated one this is what you need this is the only thing that you need to keep here so i just commented this out We committed this out like that, and this is wrong. Save, get out, and after you do this, you would see that there is a small sign here. I don't have it here because any changes that I've just did right now is added, right? It's added. It's, it has been staged. So after you do this, you can just say get in the theme folder. All right, in the theme folder, you just say git and add all, and you're good to go. All right, so whenever you open up your uh, WSL2 Ubuntu terminal one more time, you will see everything working fine. And whenever you see this updating message, just press Y, and you're good to go, and it's going to be updated just fine. I hope this quick fix uh, helps someone because um, for some reason, I spent a lot of time of um, figuring out what was happening and. Um, I did something that is really wrong, and I really hope that no one does that. Whenever you have an issue, try to understand this on your own first. Try to trace it. Don't jump in searching and looking at um, stuff on the internet, because most of the time, this problem wouldn't appear to um, many people. So you would see a problem that you think it's the same, but it's entirely different, and you would find yourself doing so many things that is unnecessary, and you wouldn't need that in the first place. Peace out.